Rocketbook is back at it again, releasing yet another variation of their popular reusable notebooks, this time targeted at an academic population with a whole new slew of organization and planning templates. Within the existing Rocketbook lineup, the academic planner sits somewhere between the Fusion Notebook, which pairs a few pages of simple agenda templates with mostly dot grid and line pages, and the Panda Planner, which is almost exclusively highly specific templates focused on building habits and achieving goals. Other than its template pages, which we'll get into in a minute, the Academic Planner is similar to most other Rocketbook notebooks. It has the same flexible plastic covers, which are prone to scratching, a simple side-bound plastic coil, and uses the same polyester composite pages that when paired with Pilot's water-soluble friction pens allow your notes to be erased using a little water and the included microfiber cloth. Of course, you should do this after making digital backups of your notes by scanning them with the Rocketbook app, which expedites the backup process using the seven destination page footer, where each icon can be assigned to a different folder in a variety of cloud services. For more information on this, check out my Everything Rocketbook playlist. That being said, let's take a look at what makes the Academic Planner different so you can figure out if it's right for you. Unlike the standard Core, Fusion, Flip, and Panda Planner notebooks, the Academic Planner only comes in a larger letter size, which is unfortunate, but that means you get the full 8.5 by 11 inches of a page for planning out your semester. It's also currently only offered in four colors, Deep Space Gray, Infinity Black, Neptune Teal, and the Scarlet Sky color that I purchased. You'll also notice that the Academic Planner is a little thicker than other Rocketbook notebooks because it offers 24 double-sided pages for a total of 48, the most of any Rocketbook notebook or page pack to date, which is definitely a move in the right direction. Additionally, the front cover features a white label printed below the new Academic Planner logos, which you can use as a name tag. You can fill this out using friction ink, though it does wipe off quite easily, so I would recommend using a permanent marker. In addition to the standard destination icon legend inside of the front cover, you also get a 10 inch imperial ruler, as well as a 26 centimeter metric ruler on the inside of the back cover, similar to the matrix notebook. Though, an important improvement that's unique to the Rocketbook Academic Planner is the reduction in QR code size throughout the notebook. This allows for more usable space on each page, as well as a less striking look compared to a traditional notebook. If you're new to Rocketbook, these QR codes work with the app to help facilitate the scanning process, along with the seven icon destination footer, which now features squares instead of circles. But the best part of the academic planner are the new templates. In total, there are 13 different page templates used in the academic planner, which provides a lot of variety and function within a single notebook. And I think I could actually see myself using all of them, which is nice. Just inside the front cover, we get a new mission control page. This is meant to accommodate high level planning. It features a goal section, a space for keeping track of upcoming tasks that you don't want to forget about, as well as somewhere to document what you're most excited about. Then on the right side, there's a to-do list with 13 pre-configured checkboxes that can work with the Rocketbook app smart list feature to automatically create a digital in-app list to keep with you when your planner is left at home. Beneath this, there's a small note section made up of six lines. Personally, I would use this mission control page to plan tasks in my private life, and I would erase and reuse it on a weekly basis. The back side of the mission control page features a class schedule tracker where you can store things like class names, times, teachers, contact details, and quick notes for up to eight classes. Though you'll probably memorize these fairly quickly, this is a great template that will likely see a lot of use early in the semester and can save you from looking up class details online. Following this, we have a one-page project tracker where you can keep details for up to five projects at a time. There's a blank space for titling the project, as well as six lines for designating individual project tasks, as well as their due dates, and a small box for completion check marks, and finally, a blank square for any other short project related notes. Definitely a handy template for tackling larger projects that have a variety of steps or intermittent deliverables. Immediately after this, you get a two page yearly planner that begins in July and ends in June so that the year transition falls between the pages. 
Each page begins with a faint year title block, which is followed by six monthly sections, each with five lines and a small blank square that you could use for little notes or monthly doodles. This template is great for tracking holidays or larger events, like the beginning of term or vacation breaks. Flipping the page, we see the first of three full monthly calendars, each of which is spread across two full pages and features weeks beginning on Mondays. Each daily square is big enough to host four to six event labels and has a faint blue square in the top left corner where you can fill in the date. Aside from this, you also get a thin goals section on the right hand side, which has six pre-configured checkboxes and a small notes section. I would mostly use this for documenting my schedule, project deadlines, and for tracking my progress towards habit targets using the goals section. At the time of making this, the Rocketbook app's calendar stitching feature, which can be enabled within the scan settings, doesn't yet support the academic planner, but I suspect this will be added over time to allow you to create a single image from scanning this two-page spread in succession. Following the three monthly calendar templates, there are five two-page weekly agenda templates. In the top left corner, each comes with a small title block where you can indicate which week it is, followed by five full weekday planners, each featuring a blank square for important items, a 15-line section for assignments and daily tasks, followed by a second blank square for tracking extracurricular activities. Then, along the far right side of the template, you get two blank squares for weekends, as well as a 14-line section for small weekly notes. All things considered, I really like the layout of this template because it provides plenty of room for daily activities and is well-balanced to prioritize each day. The one complaint I have is that the side coil layout makes it exceptionally challenging to fill out parts of Wednesday because my palm bumps up against the raised coil. Because the academic planner is a little thicker, you can get away with using it in single page mode though, but this is worth mentioning. Once you flip through all five weeks worth of agendas, Rocketbook has elected to include two more creative templates, which I really like. The first is a mind map page, which is best used in landscape. It's mostly blank, but has a small, very faint title block centered on the page, where you can start creating a mind map or word association tree. Depending on what kind of projects you're tackling, I could see this being a great template for quick brainstorming sessions with friends, which works well with the Rocketbook system because you can then quickly scan and email the results to everyone afterwards. Flipping the page over, you also get a neat priority matrix page, which is set up with a basic two-axis framework template. Each axis has a small faint title block perpendicular to the arrows so that it's easy to label, and there's some extra blank space at the bottom of the page for any insights you glean from representing your findings in a 2x2 framework. Again, this is a rather subject-specific template, but there's a lot of opportunities to use frameworks like this to help visualize the interplay between competing variables. The final two new templates are reflections, which are spread across two pages. The first page is divided into three equally spaced 10-line sections, each prompting you to reflect on aspects of your day. First, there's a section which asks you how your day was, then one where you can discuss the things that you learned about yourself, followed by a closing section on what you're grateful for. Then on the second page, there's room for a full page open-ended reflection on any prompt that you choose. These may seem a little diary-like, but reflection activities like these are excellent tools for learning because they allow you to choose your own format for reframing your learnings in an honest way, which is an important aspect of translating classroom knowledge into real understanding. So I definitely encourage you to try them out. Finally, the Rocketbook Academic Planner closes with 23 of their most popular standard page templates to allow for general note taking. There are 10 of the faint line pages, followed by six of the dot grid pages, four of the graph pages that you would find in the matrix notebook, and finally, three completely blank pages. And that's it. All in all, I actually really like this new notebook design. Personally, I like to create my own templates from scratch using Rocketbook's dot grid notebooks and page packs, but I think the Academic Planner is the first fully templated notebook they offer where I would actually use all of the built-in page layouts regularly. So from my perspective, it's really well thought out, which makes sense because it was designed with inputs from real teachers. Aside from the side coil palm interference, 
The biggest struggle I suspect you'll find with the Academic Planner will be organizing your digital backups, because there are a lot of different templates and you only have seven destinations, some of which you'll probably want to use for subject-specific cloud folders. My suggestion would be to combine the yearly, monthly, and weekly planner templates into a single agenda folder and title each so that you can sort by name and have them separate out. It's also worth considering whether you actually need digital backups of pages like the mission control, class schedule, and project tracker, or if you just want to reuse them without scanning. That's what I would do. Then you can set up a second folder for personal reflections, leaving five destinations available for different subjects. Either way, however you choose to configure your destinations, if you decide to pick up a Rocketbook Academic Planner, you can use the link and code that Rocketbook has been nice enough to provide to my viewers to save a little money off the $40 asking price. Check out the description below for more details. Otherwise, if you like this video, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.